I'm all up in your grill today, all up in your grill. And today what I'm gonna do is drop facts, nothing but facts. Did you know that hot water turns into ice a lot faster than cold water? According to the Impemba effect, this effect is named after Erasto Impemba, who in 1963 was a Tanzanian student making ice cream as a school project. Did you know the strongest muscle in your body is actually your tongue? Do you know that ants rest for only eight minutes in a span of 12 hours? That's ridiculous, ain't it? Right? And oh yeah, here's a, here's a boring one. Coca-Cola was once green. Did you know that? Crazy. Okay. So since we're talking about facts, there's one fact that I really want to drop today. Not so popular though. Those are some random facts, but I want to talk about an NBA fact. Pretty unpopular. Did you know that Kevin Durant would have never won those finals MVP without Stephen Curry? Bang! Not so popular, right? But that is a fact. Let's check this out first. But the leader of our team is Steph. You know, and Steph is, he's extremely selfless. You know, it's never about what can I do for Steph or how Steph feels or can I get this shot for Steph. Now, obviously, yes, he's going to shoot the ball. But his worry is always everyone else. And it's never me, me, me. And when your leader is like that, everyone else, you have to fall in line. And yeah. so I think not only did it shape our team, but it shaped the entire organization because that's who we're all following. That's the face of this thing. That's, you know, our leader. That's who we're all looking to. When things get wrong, we'll go wrong. Like, what are we trying to do? We're trying to get Steph a shot. We're trying to get the ball in Steph's hand. He carries that on the floor, but he also carries that off the floor as well. And I think, you know, he's he's one of the best examples I've had, but also one of the best examples for all of us. You know, he he had, he had lives by a certain standard. Thank you very much, Draymond, for breaking that down, because that's what I needed to make my point here. All right, so Stephen Curry being selfless, being that type of leader is what allowed KD to flourish with the Golden State Warriors. KD wouldn't have flourished with the Golden State Warriors to become the MVP, the finals MVP, if Stephen Curry was a different type of player. So Stephen Curry enabled for that to happen. Let's break it down a little more. KD has never won a ring without Stephen Curry. KD lost to LeBron James prior to playing with the Golden State Warriors. So let's go back to the OKC days scoring titles and all that. So we cannot deny KD being a great player before Stephen Curry. Well, let's, let, let, let's say a really good player. Great, I know we use the word great very loosely nowadays. Okay, so maybe because we do use it very loosely, let's say he was a great player, but he wasn't the type of player that he was playing with the Golden State Warriors because of Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry has been known to make players very efficient Okay, so let's go back to the OKC days when he lost to Stephen Curry. It's because of those little intangible leadership skills that Stephen Curry possesses. That's the reason why KD lost. He couldn't manage that really great team of his to actually get over the hump. 3-1 record. I know everybody's talking about the Golden State Warriors choking, but guess what? That very same season, KD also choked. 3-1. All right, so let's move a little further ahead. KD had the talent, but he lacked those intangibles, the leadership skills that Draymond Green was talking about. I know a lot of people will say, oh no, the best player was KD because Stephen Curry cannot play defense. Well, if you take one of the greats, Bill Russell, and boom, drop him in this era, Bill Russell would just be another center, like we see so many centers out there. Stephen Curry changed the rules of the game so he could dominate this game. Five straight finals. Five straight finals. I'm sure we love to say that about LeBron James going nine times, but his record, his winning record does not translate into dominance. I know a lot of people love to say he dominated, but you've got to be winning to be dominating. He doesn't have that high percentage. No, he actually does not have a winning percentage, period. We can't say a high percentage of winning, all right? So five straight trips to the finals and the dynasty is still not over. Please share and don't forget to like 
and do subscribe to my channel because I need it right now. I'm stuck inside the house, so I need to do something to generate some kind of income, all right? So this might work for me because if I can't do this, I don't know what I can do. You know, I'm going crazy up in here, so please do subscribe. I need you, man. I need you. Drop a comment, man. Say something about this video, man.